What's up, everyone? Big show tonight. Super excited to go through everything jam-packed. We're going over the mystery boxes for Terrificon. I've got some raw books here I want to show off that are going to be at the show. I've got some graded books here I want to show uh, show off a little bit that are going to be at the show. And I'm going to need your help with something as well. So a little bit of everything going on tonight. I wanted to get right to it. Uh, first, let me hop into the chat and just say hello to some people. Gem Mint is in here. What's going on, Mr. Mint? Emerald Knight, moderator extraordinaire. Are, are you going to Terrificon? I think you said you were. George Deep, Tabri, Tom, George Deep again, Lee, Javier, Michael the Beast, Benson. I know he's going. I think he's going. Uh, I know a lot of people are. Uh, Deep Dive Comics, Uncanny X, Rocket Machine, Raymond, uh, who else we got in here? Death Killer, Christopher Biggs, Jonathan Lawrence. We got a whole jam packed group of people. What's up, Johnny Sanchez? Um, again, a ton of stuff to go through tonight. This is all terrific. On this whole video, will be about terrific. On my very first convention since New York Comic Con 2019. So we're going almost a year and over a year and a half. Super stoked and talking about New York Comic Con. I officially have a booth for 2021 New York Comic Con. So if you can't make it to Terrific Con and you can't make it to King Con in Northern Jersey, I'm going to sneeze. I'm not. I am. I'm not. I will be at New York Comic Con this year. So I'm very excited for that. But most importantly, we are here. We are talking about Terrific Con. Um, and I don't know what you guys want to get into first because I have so much. I'm, I'm like very excited. Uh, we've got. The mystery boxes, I will have 50 mystery boxes exclusive to Terrificon. That's it. No more, no less. 50. Uh, I got a batch of raw stuff here. I just wanted to show what I'm bringing and some slabs. So what do you guys want to see first? Do you want to go over the mystery boxes? Do you want to go over some raw stuff? you want to go over some slabs? Christian, what booth am I going to be in? That's a fantastic question. I should know this. I should know this going in. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. I don't know. I'm like straight ahead and a little to the left. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, beautiful. I am at booth. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. You think I'd be a little prepared? Right here. 4, 11, and 5, 10. Write it down. Take a screenshot. Text yourself. Email yourself. 4, 11, 5, 10. You literally walk straight in to the show, walk past the, like walk through one aisle, and then it opens up and I'm right there to the left. So again, that's 4, 11, 5, 10. It's a double end cap. That's where I'm going to be. So you guys want to see, let's see. I see people talking mystery boxes. These will not be shipped out. These will be exclusive again for the show. And they're probably going to sell out Friday, especially when I show. I'm going to show. I'm literally, guys, I'm showing you everything in the mystery boxes. There's not going to be a surprise. Everything will be shown tonight. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. I see mist. People want to see the mystery boxes. Raw, 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 raw. Mystery boxes, slabs, mystery boxes. All right. Uh, a lot of mystery boxes. All right. Let's talk about. Oh, now see. Look, a lot of people saying slabs. All right, first things first. I am bringing 12, 12. 12 short boxes of slabs will be coming with me to Terrificon. If there's about 25 slabs per box, let's even round it down. Let's say there's 20 slabs per box. You're looking at 240, over 240 graded books coming with me. This will be my largest inventory, the best inventory I've ever had going into a convention. I've had a lot of time to prep. I think everyone has. Um, as for raw keys, I've got two full short boxes of $100 plus wall books, and we'll go through a bunch of them tonight. But let's do the mystery boxes first. That's what people want to see. So uh, there's going to be 50 boxes. They will be $125 a piece. If you buy two, I'll do two twenty-five, So I'll knock 25 bucks off, but that's it. I'm going to limit it to two. No more that, um, cause I don't, I don't, you know, 
Some people may not get there. I don't want somebody grabbing five of them. So two is a max per person. It's going to be two and a quarter or 125 a piece. First things first, okay? You're going to get one of three different variants. One of three different variants. The first one, you guys have probably seen this from the last mystery box, is that Ryan Brown, Chris Campania double cover here. They uh, Chris Campania did the turtles. Ryan Brown did the villains up top. Here's a fun fact. They're both going to be at the show. So this book, if you pull this variant, you can get it double signed at the show. So there's that. Uh, one of the other variants that's going to be in there is another Ryan Brown exclusive. This is the Usagi Yojimbo number six. And he, Ryan will be there. So he'll be signing and doing sketches and whatnot. So this one is there. And uh, I don't know if you guys caught the Netflix. They showed some of the artwork, the digital artwork for the Netflix cartoon. Looks fantastic, in my opinion. I'm looking forward to it. And last but not least, the third variant you could get. So you're going to get one of these three in each box. My last Ronin number one. All right. Uh, these will be in there as well. So you're either getting the last Ronin one, the Usagi, or the Turtles. The cool thing about the Turtles, you can get a double signed. And of course, Ryan did both of these covers, so you can get those signed as well. CGC is actually not going to be there, uh, but CBCS will be. So those are the variants. So you're going to get one of those three. What you're also going to get is one of the following prints. These prints are all Ryan prints. They're all eight by 10. And he said he will sign them for free if you take them to him because he'll be there. Uh, and I'm going to go through them really quick. There's a lot, a lot of options you can get here. Look at one of these variants. Now they're eight by tens, which is perfect for framing. And Ryan said he'll sign these for free. So let's go through some of them. This is the Usagi, but it's colored. It's not that blue. It's all of a full color. So there's that. Uh, this one, some of these two, first time they're ever going to be prints. And the only way you can get the eight by tens is actually through me. Ryan does not sell eight by 10 prints. This is the cool uh, Batman villain, Batman rogues. So you can get what, that. Uh, CBCS is not doing on site grading, but they're definitely taking submissions. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can get gold labels. There is a, thank you, Emerald Knight. There is a CGC facilitator at the show, which means you can go through the facilitator to get your gold labels. The facilitator will witness your signature on from the artists and writers, and they will take your books and they will submit them to CGC for you and you will get your gold labels. So there is a facilitator there. Hellboy, we kind of cover a lot of stuff. You guys like Transformers? This is that. And then the next one is actually a Phantom Star Killer. This is Ryan's cover. This is a cover of Phantom Star Killer number one. And again, all eight by 10, nice mats, beautiful for signatures. Sinister Six, I like this one. You could get that in there. So Spawn, some of these are very familiar looking because we did these for the first batch of mystery boxes ever, but there's some new ones in here too. Uh, Turtles and Shredder, I like that one. I like that one. I love Raph. Uh, here's a good one. I like the Loki. So this one, that, you could possibly get that. This is actually, I'm pretty sure, I think this was a cover too. I'm not positive, but this is the Max and Batman. Uh, this could be in there. This is one of my favorites out of the batch. And then this, so you can get one of any of these. And then last but not least, you could get this one. Um, first time ever in a print. And eight by 10. I do think Ryan's going to be selling bigger versions of this print. I'm not positive. He might even be in the chat somewhere. So you can get one of these prints in there, one of the three variants. And of course, should we do the grand prizes or should we go to the slabs? Let's do the slabs first. Let's do the slabs first. So each box, you get a print. Each box, you get one of the three variants. And each box, you will get a 9.8 of one of the following books. I'm going to show you all 50 of these right now. Okay, so here we go. First up, a Wildcats number one in a 9.8. Ton of first appearances there. Uh, Thanos 13, the lenticular cover. This is the first Cosmic Ghost Rider. You can get that. A Blue Devil number one in a 9.8. It's from 1984. Yeah, 1984, so that's cool. Uh, here's a nice big one. Here's a Spider-Man Unlimited number one. This is like somewhere between retail between 200 and 250 dollars. So that's going to be in there. One of the boxes. There might even be two. I don't even know. 
I got this one. This is from Milgi Comics. You know Comic Tom. That's in there with the cool Wolverine label in a 9.8. So you can get one of those. The only way you can get these boxes is literally at Terrificon, at my booth. Uh, first Ezekiel. Oh, and Shiva. 9.8 white pager. So there's that. Uh, Venom number 19. I pop this one out. I mean, this is, you can kind of see, this is the Mary Jean. This is the Virgin, the Golden Apple variant. Um, Venom 19, it's the Amazing Mary Jean variant, Virgin cover. Yeah. Oh, that actually looks like Carnage. I'm sorry, because I thought they did a Venom one. So it's a little red. That's a Carnage one. So you can get those. This, I love this book. I, I'm going to take it right out of here. I love this book. This is in there. This is Venom number one. This is the this is the ASM 50 homage cover from Scorpion the Virgin. You could get this. Sorry about the glare, guys. That is awesome. I really like this one. Someone's going to take that home. Uh, let's see, we got a Silk number one. Uh, Eric, no, I don't want to take payment ahead of time. I just want to sell them while I'm there. It's easier. Plus, I'll have them all numbered 1 through 50, and you could pick whatever number you want. Um, this is a nice one, too. Batman 89, first appearance of Punchline in Cameo. But, you know, that's a nice book. That's in there. A lot of nice 9-8s. We've got The Death of Rick Grimes. He's in there. We've got... Uh, I had a bunch of these. Ninja Turtles number 95. Jenica becomes a turtle. This is the second print. If you've seen my auctions, you've seen me move some of these before. You got the wraparound cover. Well, kind of a wraparound cover. You got Eastman on the back. I think this is um, Bishop cover. Oh, no, no, no. Dave Wat Water. Okay. Bishop did the cover. Oh, that's the second printing, by the way. Uh, how about Lethal Protector 5? First Scream. There's that. So that's just some of the books. I told you, we're going through all 50. Walking Dead, 193. This is the last issue. That's I think that's it for The Walking Dead. Spider-Man, number one. Silver. The McFarlane. Oh, here's a nice one. This is actually a really nice one. Uh, Avengers, 684. First Immortal Hulk. So that's going to be in there. We've got a Venom 27. This is the Myers variant. You got the Null label on top too. So that's pretty cool. This is a, a first appearance of Codex. All right. This is kind of interesting. This is All-Star Batman and Robin Boy Wonder. Number 10. This is the recall due to improper editing. So this is a recalled issue. So we got little Marvel, little DC, little Indie. Here's a Venom uh, 4 for Scream. All keys, first appearances or variants or classic covers. How about this Jim Lee? This is Punisher War Journal number 7. Awesome Jim Lee. Uh, we got another two, two more Wildcats number 1s. One, two, Wildcats. How about a, another Spidey number 1 and a Silver? And then a Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider 15, the glow in the dark cover. So there's 25 right there. We're going to go through another 25. So there's half your mystery boxes right there. Nine, eight keys, first appearances, classic covers, variants. I don't want to break, I don't want to break anything. Okay, you ready? You guys want to see the other half? Here we go. This is Captain Marvel number eight, first appearance of Star. There's that in there. Whoops. Well, Batman 442, first appearance of, what is that, Tim Drake as Robin? That's in there in a 9-8. Yeah, Tim Drake as Robin in the Robin costume. Uh, X-Force number two, second appearance of Deadpool. So the second Deadpool... Thanos Quest number one. It's a second printing. Funny, I did not even know those were uh, until I got this back. I had no idea that I actually did go through two printings. Another Spidey number one silver. So that's three of those in there. 
a Spidey number one. That's the regular one. I think this was the was this the poly bagged one? I don't think this was the poly bagged one. Maybe. Another Spidey number one. And a third Spidey number one. So those are all in there. Here's a cool one. Web of Spider-Man 100. First appearance of the spider armor. That's in there. Sleepwalker number one. Batman 89. First appearance of Punchline and Cameo. This is the variant. The Deathstroke variant. I don't know if it even has a name. It's just cover B. But there's that. Dark Knight. Here we go. Dark Knight's Metal number one. The Bulletproof Comics Virgin Edition. That Who did that cover? Oh, Del Otto. So there's that Del Otto variant in there. All right. What else we have here? Oh, here's a nice one. A lot of these slabs alone retail for 100 to 125 before the variants or the prints or even what else I'm going to get into. X-Force 11 first Domino. Nice. Here's another big Jim Lee Punisher. This is uh, War Journal number six. Awesome cover. I love finding these books. ASM 375. First wait, what's her name? Uh, oh, it doesn't say Ann Waning. Isn't that the first Ann Waning? Something like that. This could be in there in your book. Steph, what's going on? Uh, all the babies are doing well. Everybody's good. Everybody's great. Actually, I just got finished bathing the little one, the newest one. Amazing Spider-Man 362, Second Carnage. These mystery boxes are 125 a piece. Uh, all right, Spider Gwen. No, Spider Gwen, Go Spider, number one, the Joe variant, the Marvel Battle Lines variant. This will be in there. Here's that. Young Blood, Young Blood, number two. This thing was on the hot list for a little bit. This is the blue cover, not, or the green cover. Um, first profit. Right? Yeah, that's an Ann Wang. Oh, cool. All right. There's some good ones here, too. Uh, this is Thor 339, first appearance of Stormbreaker. That's in there. Newsstand edition, so that's cool. Our only signed book in there, but there is a signed book in there. This is Venom 27. This is signed by Tyler Kirkham, the Kirkham variant. So that's cool. That's going to be in there. Uh, oh, three more. Um, a, another Wildcats number one. And then we have Spider Get It number one. This is the tan variant. This is the silver one. All right, that cover swipe. And then same, same thing except the regular one. So there you go. That's all 50 variant, uh, 50 slabs. 50 slabs. Each box will come with one of those that we just went over. It it will come with one of the three variants we went over. It will come with one of the prints we went over. And now, last but not least, there's five Ryan Brown sketch cards. So one in 10 boxes will have one of these sketch cards. Thank you, Saul. So here we go. Let's go through these really quick. Five of them. There's the backs. They're all signed. These are the backs. These are the backs, all signed and dated. That one's upside down, but that's all right. Don't worry about that. Here we go. First one that you could take home. There's the Venom. I like that one. Actually, I like all of them. Uh, how about Leo? You see that okay? So that's on there. One in 10. We have a Joker. That bad boy, you could take that one. We have Thanos. And last but not least, maybe my favorite in the batch. The Jugs. Juggernaut. So Ryan killed it. He crushed these things, and I do appreciate it. Um, I don't know if he's in here or not, but 
Here they all are. So roughly one in 10, we'll get one of those. And again, I am only limiting them to two per person. Deep Dive Comics with a $10 super chat. Gary, how about getting two copies of the same condition books signed at the show? Send one to CBCS and one to CGC. Standard grading, no upgrades. See which one comes back first. And of course, the grades. That's a great idea, except it would take you six months to get the one from CGC back. But not a bad idea. If I have time, I'll be honest, I'm going to be very busy. If I have time to get some stuff graded, I will. I do want to see Pamiati and Connor because they were on the channel. So I would love to go see them and say hello and, and say thank you for coming on. Uh, no, no beard. This is just, I've been home for, uh, what, two weeks and um, I haven't been shaving. I think I shaved like a week ago because I was itchy. So uh, no, the beard has to go because of work. Sorry, it's not coming back. I go back to work Tuesday, so... Street side, what's going on? Kyle Wolf, Terrificon is in New York, or Connecticut at Mohegan Sun, the casino, Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. Uh, so those are the mystery boxes, okay? Um, yeah, again, three variants. You're going to get one of three variants, one of a bunch of prints. You're going to get one of these 59.8 slabs. Uh, will you sign a red Sonia? Sure, of course I will. I'll sign whatever you want, man. Whatever you want. Um, okay, so we have slabs to go over. We have some raw stuff to go over. And then I need your help right here. And I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, if you guys, I got a big, big shout out to Roger Levesque from Three Men in a Basement for accidentally giving me this idea. So uh, I'm going to talk about that. So what do you guys want to see? You want to see some slabs or some raw stuff? Jeffrey, I think it starts at 1.30 on Friday. So Brie really wants the spider Gwen slab. All right. Slabs or raw. Now we're not going to go over all the slabs. I told you I have 12 short boxes of slabs. So I just grabbed one random page wants raw. All right. So you're the first one to answer. So here we go. I have, Oh wait, you're not the first one to answer. Sorry, page. They just all came in crazy. Let's see. Oh, MK Geiger. You wanted raw. Christopher wanted raw. Davey wanted slabs. Well, raw first. So here we go. Sorry, guys. Um, so, I, so I only... Oh, Ralph Rice. Great question. Those Something Killing the Children, the 9.8s, if you pre-ordered one of those, they are at CGC. We just have to be patient, and I apologize because we all know the turnaround time. So they're there. They're going to get graded, and you're going to get them, I promise. We just all have to be patient. Like, I have 100 books at CGC just in pre-screen alone. And then I sent all the somethings killing the children. So I have well over 200 just for pre-screen, not my regular graded books. They're extremely backed up. So, all right. Uh, let's go over some raw stuff real quick. So I have two, two boxes of raw keys, all pretty mylar, nice fullbacks. And I grabbed one of the two and this is the one I grabbed. So here's something that's going to be there raw. We got a werewolf by night. We don't need to go over everything, but. Uh, first appearance of Werewolf by Night. We know this book is excruciatingly hot right now. How about some Avengers stuff real quick? Uh, we've got the first Wonder Man. That's going to be there. Uh, well, we all watched Loki, right? So coincidentally, we have some Immortus. We have one, two, three first appearances of Immortus. Don't worry. I will also have the first appearance of Kang, but those are all graded. Uh, this is This is becoming a big book. Spidey with the Avengers. What number is that? 12, uh, 11. 11. Uh, and some Red Guardian. We probably all watched... Um, we probably all watched... Uh, what was I going to say? Black Widow. So, Red Guardian. I thought he was great. Uh, can I buy a mystery box now? No, Anthony. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, oh, here's another big Avengers book. This book is getting crazy hot. First Rogue. This is a big one. And I think Madeline Pryor, right? Is that the first Madeline Pryor? I get him confused. Uh, three first Yelena Belova again, comes back to Black Widow. These books are on fire as well. I should have sent them out to get graded because these all are definitely nine fours are better. Easy. And nine eights, I think are like, are they 800 right now? Something wild. Uh, we've got some Thor. So quickly, I'll quickly go over some Thor books. Uh, how about the second Loki? 
This book is crazy expensive too. Even this one missing the top corner, very expensive. Journey into Mystery, 90. Some nice Journey into Mystery books. Uh, Journey into Mystery, 102. Big book. Journey into Mystery, 112. This classic cover. Sorry for the camera. I have two, two assistants. My dad is actually coming to the show for the first time ever. He's going to a comic good, comic book convention to see what it's all about. So, uh, yeah, these are all $100 or more. Are these the $100 plus raws you mentioned the other night or varying prices on what you're showing? No, these are all one minimum of $100 and up. That's what I'm putting on the wall. Anything under $100, so anything between $5 and a hundred dollars, or I should say like $99 is actually going in my long box stock, which people will be able to dig through. I'm going to have 39 long boxes of stock to go through all $5 plus books. So there's that, uh, some more journey into mystery. This is 114. First absorbing man. We've got the first destroyer. He's going to be there saying hi to everyone. We've got Thor 129, 126. This is a big one. Uh, here's another biggie. 166, 168. This book's hot. You guys uh, know that one. Oh, here's another hot Thor book. Uh, you guys have definitely know about this one. Beta Ray Bill. This thing's on fire as well. Yeah, another hot Thor book. Man, we know about this. I think, do I have one of these graded? I don't know. I might. We'll see. Maybe it's in the box here. We still have to go through. And this one. Thor number one, very hot book. Uh, much more expensive than I had anticipated when I was going through pricing these things. How about some Fantastic Four? We have any Fantastic Four fans here that are interested in some raw FF? Oh, Jeff Silversmith, don't worry, man. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's all fun. It was all fun. All right, people want to see FF? Let's see some FF. Oh, I have Spidey in here too. All right, so yeah, grab the good raw box, I think. Uh, Fantastic Four number nine. Anything Submariner right now is hot, hot, hot. How about two number 14s? Do you utilize? Uh, I just, um, the only Mylars are going to be these wall books. Everything else is just normal bagged and board polyed. Uh, FF, very expensive book. And this one looks beautiful. It's 25. This is their first, I think their first cover battle or something. This is a very expensive book, Hulk and Thing. Any Star Wars for the convention? Andrew Martin, I probably have one long box alone for Star Wars and almost one entire short box of slab Star Wars books. So yeah, I'm coming in hot with the Star Wars. Uh, 36, we got the Frightful Four. We've got the Inhumans. That's coming with us. That's going to be there. And I think I have one of these graded as well. Uh, 46, Black Bolt. I may have one of these graded as well. Nah, I don't know if I do. I don't know if I do. Uh, and then FF67, him. Not as expensive as you would imagine. Why? Oh, because the cover's detached. That's why. See, I put notes on the back so I know if there's something wrong with the book. So if I hand it to somebody, I can say, oh, just by the way, you know, cover's detached. That's why it's cheap. Um, okay. Let's start. We'll, we'll, we'll lightly get into some Spidey before. Before we even touch on ASM, we'll touch some some Spidey books. How about uh, Marvel Spotlight? 32, we have the first Spider-Woman. This book is on fire. A lot of stuff is hot, man. Are you selling both your FF5s? I have one FF5, a 4.5, and it is coming with me to the convention. So hold on to your butts. I don't know if, th if this one's in here, but it's not cheap. Uh, some Secret War 8s. I also have some Secret War 8s graded at least one possibly two we know this guy the norman osborne negative variant uh for silk she's coming and i think i think i might have this in a nine eight as well you lose track you just lose track a couple nulls don't have these graded. I do have nine eights, but I'm not bringing them. And then check this out. So I was looking through when I was pricing out my long boxes. Again, I was pricing out and getting everything ready. 39 of them. Uh, I found this in there and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This doesn't need to be in there. This is a wall book. So we have the Amazing Fantasy 15 uh, in, in excellent shape. If this doesn't sell at the convention, there's, there's a few books that if they do not sell at the convention, they will be going to CGC. This is one of them. There's going to be a few of those. 
So with that, let's get into the ASM, the raw ASM. I told you, we got a lot to cover tonight. We're already 30 minutes in. I've never been to CGC and taken a tour. I'd love to, though. I think that'd be cool as hell. I'd ask them what's taking so long. Oh, uh, let's see. ASM, ASM, ASM. Nice stack of raw ASM. I have an entire short box, an entire short box of graded Amazing Spider-Man. I'm almost positive it's not this box. So here, spoiler alert. Here's what we're doing. Amazing Spider. I have Amazing Spider-Man 3 going to the show. Amazing Spider-Man 6, 9, 15, 20, 31, uh, 100. I think I have the Prowler in there. I have a Punisher in there. Terrific Con is next weekend. Um, I will be there all weekend. Uh, so I've, I'm heavy on Amazing Spider-Man slabs, and I'm heavy on Amazing Spider-Man raw stuff. So look, here's number nine. That's going. Number 10. That'll be there. Uh, 25. One of my favorite uh, covers, favorite Spidey covers, 33. I think this is, I think a lot of people really like this. But then we have even more covers. Look, 39. All right, that's a nice one. 40. I do like 40 as well. That's going to be there. Uh, Emerald Knight, I didn't catch it. You're going, right? I know you're going. Uh, 41, Rhino, he's going to be there. Prowler, a raw Prowler, going to be there. Uh, oh, here, nice, a nice ASM 194. First black hat. All right, thank you, sir. All right, so... This book's been really hot, and I think people are speculating hard on this character. And what's cool about this book is it's not super, super easy to get in high grade. And of course, it's usually missing the tattoo. This is ASM 238, first Hobgoblin. This one does not have the tattoos. It is incomplete. So it's still a $150 book, which is absolutely mind-blowing to me. This one is complete. This is a nice high grade copy. I think I have two others going to CGC, both graded. One is incomplete 4.0 Canadian price variant, which is, yeah, try figuring out how to price that one out. Uh, SM 252, we know that one. 298, we've got 298. We've got 299. Oh, Nash, you're definitely not going to make it out. I have three ASM 300s all graded, but we're talking raw books right now. The 301, which actually looks really nice. This might have to go to CGC as well. Uh, this book in a 9.8 is stupid expensive because there's not a lot of them out there. And then we've got a couple of these. Maybe these will go. Uh, yeah, this one's in much better shape. This one might have to go too. I'm definitely going to do like a once over after the convention and pull some books that may be going to CGC. Here's an underrated book. This is the first Doctor Strange and Spider-Man meetup. So expect this to go up. And then ASM annual number six. This is a Sinister Six. I think it's a, I'm not positive. Is it a reprint of number one? I don't know. With like a different cover. I, I'm not sure. Can't know everything. So there's that. Still have a little bit to go through. If you want me to keep going through these raw books. Very, very nice stuff. We got a little, let's talk a little bit Dr. Strange-ish. Let's do a little Dr. Strange stuff. So this book is super hot right now. Shuma Garath, two of them. They're not cheap either. Again, might be on the list of stuff to send out to get graded because we know he's going to be in Dr. Strange 2 and that's not till next year. So there's time to get this book back. Uh, Dr. Strange 1. And then a couple 169s. This is actually the first in title because it was Strange Tales before this. I think Eternals number one is still slightly undervalued, in my opinion. Just, hey, look who it is. Oh, guy, look. They came to uh, yesterday. They came yesterday. So thank you for that, guy. Four depressible defects. Super excited about that. I've never come across a Lethal Protector one in a white cover. I have come across the black cover. How about Strange Tales 135? Uh, isn't this like the first shield and the first Hydra? Or just the first Hydra? I don't know. I get confused. Here's the first Dormammu. That's going to be in there. 
uh, on the wall, and then Marvel feature number one. This is the first appearance of the Defenders, which we can technically still get on the big screen. Any Black Panther and jungle action? Yeah, I have a bunch of jungle action. And then I know I have the first Killmonger raw, but it, it must be in the other box. It's not here. Uh, Justin Hacker, I believe so. I still think that's a slightly undervalued book, but don't sleep on it because it's only going to go up. All right. Not too, too much left. A little bit left in this box. Then we'll move over to the slabs. Again, this is just a preview of what's going to be at Terrificon. Just a preview. Yeah, the Ahsoka book is on fire. No Sentry. None. I've, I've sold my only one. I had a 9.8. I sold a while back. Um, how about Sergeant Fury and Howling Commandos number 13? This is the first Cap and Nick Fury meeting. No X-Men 101. It's crazy. Cap 110. Very uh, sneaky expensive, this book. Steranko, right? Yeah, Steranko. We've got Captain America number six. Maybe you've seen this book before. Uh, First Winter Soldier. I've got four of them. One's a little bit lesser of a grade than the others, which are all nice high grade. I think I do have some Marvel premiere number one, my friend. And then I have the uh, same book, but the variant. So that's cool. Those will be on the wall. And then this book. Okay. Another sneaky, expensive book. This thing, I didn't even realize how expensive it is. This is a one in 50, I believe. This is Winter Soldier number one. Crazy. The $200 book. Absolutely wild. Uh, the price of the Red Guardian. I think there were two different ones based on the condition. Price is negotiable. Uh, it depends on the book and it depends if you're paying with cash. All right, last little batch of stuff here. How about Tales of Suspense? People like Tales of Suspense, right? What is this? The second Black Widow, Tales of Suspense 53, and then Tales of Suspense 58. Nice books. Tales of Suspense 46, Crimson Dynamo. This book is expensive too. Uh, Subby number one, Submariner number one, probably like a two o, not a, not a super high grade, but expensive. And then these things got pricey quick, huh? First Abomination, and then the first Abomination cover, right? Was that ninety? Ninety one, and then uh, Tales to Astonish. This is expensive too. Tales to Astonish fifty two, early Black Knight. Nice old Silver Age book. So that's one batch of the raw stuff. We're not going to go through the other batch. Do I have any X-Men? Absolutely. But unfortunately, it was, looks like it was in the other box. So that's the box of raw stuff. And guys, I do want you to stick around because I am going to need your help by the end of this video, by the end of this live stream. So there's the raw stuff. We'll go through just one box of slabs. Uh, Augie, the next auction is probably looking like August. And then I'll tell you guys now, I don't believe we'll have one in September because I have King Con in Jersey at the end of September. And then like two weeks later, uh, two weeks later is New York Comic Con. So, uh, not sure about that. What I'm doing yet with the X-Men number one, I am bringing it to the show. I, I haven't really priced it out yet. It's probably one of the few books I haven't really priced out. All right, let's talk slabs. What's up, Josh Grav? I hope to see a bunch of you guys too at this show. Uh, you know, you don't have to buy anything, but come say hello, man. Instagram, you're on Instagram, you're on YouTube. And if I don't know who you are, just tell me your username because I deal with a lot of people. Um, there was another, oh, the DC box. The, sorry, that was the other one. And then the slabs. Ah, uh, this is uh, this is not DC. So I pop. No, there's no DC in here. Oh wait, there's one DC book in here, guys. Here you go, Sandman number eight in a nine four. That's coming. You know, I'm hoping I can fit a lot of these slabs on the wall too. 
first red uh, red Sonia in a seven five. Do you think you'll be doing mystery boxes for New York Comic Con? I hope it all Matt, it all it's all it's gonna bleh. let me try that again. Uh, it all matters. It it hold on, everyone take a timeout. That's better. Um, New York Comic Con mystery boxes. It all comes down to whether or not I get books back from CGC. That that's what that's that's it. That's all. We'll see. Uh, Conan twenty yeah Conan twenty four is first cover. Yeah, twenty three is first red Sonia. This is her first cover, and her first full appearance. Just uh, got a Shang Chi coming at you in an eight o white pages. So that's cool. The giveaways have mailed out. Uh, I got them out a week later because I had a baby. Well, I didn't, but my wife did. So I think I went live and then the baby came. So <laughs> oh, I have I have probably close to 300 books right now at CGC. Oh, here's a here's a nice one. First Deadpool is going to be there. Just a 7.0. So it's like a fairly affordable copy of that because that book, I don't need to tell you guys, is very expensive. Uh, this will be there. I have, I have 12 boxes of these slabs, guys. So, oh, here's a crazy expensive book. Jumps up like wild. Uh, Tomb of Dracula number one and a 9-4 white pages. This is expensive, but it's a gorgeous book. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is not my full-time job. Here's a super spec book for you. First core back. I have an 8-5. And then a buddy of his. I know. 90 white pages. Again, very expensive. S surprise me. Some of these books surprise me how much money they are. Here's, here's one too that it surprised me. First Moon Knight story. Marvel Spotlight. Was that 28? Yep. In a 7.5 white pages. Uh, the Hood, number one in a 9.8. I've had this book for a long time. This book in a 9.8 is very expensive. Anything less is not so much. I think somebody was talking about Spider Woman before. I've got the Spider Woman in a nine six number one. I don't have a Tomb of Dracula number ten. A Nova number one and a nine four. Miss Marvel number one. I think people were just asking about this stuff. Miss Marvel number one and a nine six white pages. Thank you, Noah. Yep, we're going to be done here. At two, just two for me. Nine six first Jessica Jones. Uh, do you have a comic collection video? If this is what you're selling, I would love to see what you're keeping. Actually, Kyle, thank you for even bringing that up. Now that uh, my Joker statue came and that my room, I'm cleaning my room out for Terrificon because I've been, it's been a disaster in here, guys, just getting things ready. I can actually clean my room after the show, well, really for the show. And I'm probably going to be doing a room tour video shortly, very shortly. Oh, we were talking Eternals number one. So here's one. Here's an Eternals number one. Here's an Eternals number two. Nine, four on that one. Uh, an Eternals number three. Nine, four. So that's linear. I like the nine fours. I wish nine one was a nine four, but what are you going to do, huh? Uh, oh, here's a big one. Oh, there's some nice sneaky big books in this box. Uh, first Black Panther in a 4.5. I'm renting a U-Haul. That's it. Just a U-Haul. Oh, and here you go. Iron Man number one in a 7.0. A couple bucks there. Uh, Marvel Team Up in a 9.6. First Black Suit ties with ASM 252. What booth number am I at? Oh my God. I, I should have written this down. We just talked about this earlier. Uh, 411 and 510. Just stay straight ahead. When you walk in, stay straight ahead. Walk through the aisle. And then you're going to open up. And I'm a little bit to the left. That's it. So again, that's uh, 411 and 510. And again, I am going to need your guys' help after I go through these last couple slabs. All right, I think I was right. I talked about Secret Wars eight. Here you go. Uh, I've got a nine two and a nine six. So those will be available. 
Oh, here's a cheap book. ASM, what is this? Two, uh, 289, Ned Leeds Revealed as the Hobgoblin. Cheap book, 75 bucks for 9.4. So not bad for that one. Uh, things are going to get a little pricey here now. We've got first silk in a 9.8. I do think I talked about this earlier. So I've got this one. For Spider Gwen in a 9.6. This one's a little pricey. And I know vendors that are holding on to these books. So I'm not. I'm going to just put it up for sale. So, yep. And then uh, these two little guys Ultimate Fallout 4. I've got the Ultimate Fallout 4 in a 9.2. And. Yep, and I got the Ultimate Fallout 4 in the 9.6, the 9.6, and we got the nice pretty Miles labels. And then that's it for that one. That's it for that one box. I don't know if I'm boring you guys. Do you want me to do? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's the one box, right? That's one, one of 12. So there's going to be a lot. Hopefully something there that caught your eye. But. There was nothing out of all that stuff. Don't worry. There's plenty more. Uh, Justin Hacker, thank you for the $2 super chat. Do you think New Mutants 98 will continue to rise? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do believe that there's a little bit more room on that book because technically, even though he was uh, did a little trailer with Korg, um, he hasn't shown up in the MCU yet. So I do think there's room. Do you want me to do one more? I'm going to do one more short box of slabs. And then I'll get into what I need your help with. I don't have to. I mean, we've already been on 47 minutes. Keep going. All right. Let me grab one more. One more box. Quickly. This. This. All right. One more. One more. Oh, my, my butt on there. All right. I don't know. I don't know what's in here. Other than graded books. Oh, there's sign stuff in here. That's fun. Okay. We'll finish with the sign stuff. So, oh, this isn't a great box. Well, I'll show you these two. How about this? I'll show you these two in here. This isn't, this isn't a super fantastic box. So I'll show you a few things. Uh, first thing I have a Ryan Stegman sketch colored by Edgar Delgado of Galactus. That is Stegman right there. That is a monster of a book. No pun intended with Galactus being on there. But if you think this is good, how about we have Stegman with Delgado on an FF1 sketch of Dr. Doom? This is absolutely incredible. This is sick. This is going to be there. Uh, I'm not really even sure. I mean, I have them priced and I don't even know if they're high enough. Those things are literally one of ones that are absolutely crazy. Uh, here's a few other things. Oh, first Hawkeye. First Hawkeye. Uh, first Mandarin. Can I have the first Mandarin there? First, oh, here you go, DC. First Teen Titans. Jane Foster as Thor in a 9.6. And then you saw the raw one. Look, we also have a 9.8 Thor number one. So we've got those. I'm not in love with this box. I want to I wanna show you like a, a another good box. This one is mediocre. Um, hmm. Oh, we were just talking Deadpool, right? Got this. This will be there. People like her. This will be there. This is kind of cool. Deadpool variant. Uh, what is this? First Jarvis? I don't remember. That and a 4-0. Oh, we've got... What's her name? Riri. Oh, here. This is a nice book. Marvel Point One. Kamala Khan. That's a nice book. I wish it was a 9.8. That's a nice book. 
Black Hammer, number one in the 9 8. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Heir to the Empire, number one, signed Mike Barron. And I got the COA with it, too. That's in a 9 6. It's CBCS. But here's a Stan Lee signature. That's going to be there. Yeah, I don't, I don't love this box. It's, it's, there's like, you know, pockets of good stuff. Uh, oh, I got this out of a mystery box a while ago. I'm going to get rid of this. Triple, quadruple signed. Signed by Jim Lee, Loeb, Sinclair, and Scott Williams. Four sit, quadruple signed on that one. Uh, that's it for that one. I wanted to get something else though. I just grabbed a random box. You want? All right, I'll do one more really quick. Really quick. Yeah, I didn't like this one. I didn't like this box. All right, one more. Quick. Super fast. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. I just grabbed the next one I saw, and this is it no matter. Yeah, because the other ones are kind of behind other boxes. All right. Oh, so if you stuck around and saw the uh, mystery boxes, you saw. So I actually have these priced at $250, and one of these is in the mystery boxes. So that's pretty cool. So we got that. We've got. Here's a nice one FF49. Oh, this is a good box. Uh, first Gambit and a 9.8. That's going with me. Young Avengers and a 9.6. I will have my banners there. I think, all right, put it this way. I'm bringing my banners. I don't know if I'll have them up only because I want to try to fit three full walls in my space. So we'll see. If I could fit three full walls, then I won't have, I won't have room for the banners. If I can't fit the three walls like I want to, then I'll have the banners up. Most expensive book I'm going to have there is my X-Men 1. This is the second most expensive book I'm going to have there. Uh, this is the first Doom in a 4-5. This one's expensive too. FF49. Uh, 48, I apologize. On these two, wow, I did. I grabbed a good box. We got the Namor in a 3 5. We got the Namor in a 3 0. I haven't even looked at what the what if lineup is. Which Tomb of Dracula, number one or 10? I don't I don't have the 10. Somebody was asking about the 10. Oh, uh, I've got a bunch of She Hulk number ones. If you guys watch that video, they're all coming. Again, if you're here late to the party, this is just a preview for what's going to be at Terrificon. That is next weekend. I can't wait. I'm very excited. Bunch of She-Hulks. Uh, another She-Hulk, but a different one. I will not be going to Orlando. Transformers, all that, all those 80s cartoon books are getting pricey. Uh, first, Cletus Cassidy. In a 9-4 with the Spidey label. And we've got an ASM 9, uh, 361 in a 9-4. That's the Carnage. Another another 9-4 with the retired label. You can't get this label anymore. I had no idea. I That's the last one of that. Uh, I got a 9-6. Another 375. So one of these is in the mystery boxes as well. Um, all right, cool. Sapphire. Awesome. Awesome question. I will not be accepting Dogecoin, but I will be accepting AMC stock. So, uh, awesome question. Will you be, I'm going to highlight you right here. Here you go. Sapphire. Will you do a video on loading up the U-Haul and setting up your booth? Also, would you do a video explaining how to do a Comic-Con booth in the future? I am 100% doing a video on loading up, setting up the booth, what it looks like at the end. That video I'm putting together Thursday 
and I'm going to have it ready for you guys Friday. Like I'm going to get that video ready and out. So literally the day of the show, 11 a.m. when I drop my videos, that video is coming out. So if you're coming to the show, you're going to get to see it ahead of time. Well, I mean, technically everybody's going to get to see it ahead of time. But if you're coming to the show, you will see my setup before even walking through the door because that video is coming out 11 o'clock Friday. I'm going to do a I'm going to try to do a really good job of just recording everything vlog style. It's probably going to be like a 20, 25 minute video, but I'm just going to, I'm going to record it all because I think that's like super like informative. I think it's very, it's, it's fun. I think it's a fun style video. And that's one thing not to get sidetracked because there's only a few books left to go over before um, this thing. Um, I like doing stuff on my channel that I find interesting. Me personally, when you guys find it interesting, that's just a bonus, right? I'm not going to do videos that I don't like or enjoy. So for me, it, to watch a video like that of literally setting up a boot or loading up, setting up a boot, doing all that kind of stuff. I find that interesting. I hope you guys do too. I'm going to do my best to make it uh, entertaining and a, a little bit informative as well. I mean, I don't, I'll do my best. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be do that. Definitely. Do you have customers to browse and rummage through your stuff? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just, uh, Dave's running. You're gonna have to watch this on the rewind. All right. Uh, just a few more books in this box and then we're not going to go over any more slabs. Uh, ASM 569. This is that. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get it. All right. There we go. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, Louie, thank you. What do we got here? Uh, oh, somebody was asking about J Scott Campbell. So there's a nine, eight there. J Scott Campbell, number six Oh seven. And then we've got, oh, the negative variant in a nine, eight. There's like a tear in the plastic. This is not on the slab. It's, it's the plastic. So still sharp looking. Everything looks good. So that's that box. Really excited about that. That was, that was a nice box. I, I'm not going to lie. That was a good box. So, okay. Now. That's all the preview for the show. What Now what I need is help. So with every convention that I go to, I usually have books that I like to target. If you guys watch my New Hampshire video, you saw that I targeted obviously FF Annual 6. That is the book I constantly target. And I will be looking for it at the show too, especially if I can find it at a good price. Uh, the Hulk one, those Red Hulks, I was targeting that. And then was I targeting the Immortuses at New Hampshire? Shoot, I don't remember, but I did a video. It was definitely the Hulk one. It was definitely the FF Annual 6. And then there was one more. I don't know if it was the Immortuses or not. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing at Terrificon, because I'm not really going to have time to shop. I'm going to set up and I'm I'm going to be staying at base camp. I'm going to be staying at my booth as much as possible to see you guys, to help move books. Because it's going to be me, my boy Juan, who's always at these shows with me, helping me out. And my father's actually going to be there too for the first time ever. So without me being able to really peruse, oh, pressable defects are going to be at my booth a lot too, because that's going to be like home base. Um, three men in a basement, they have their own booth uh, in Artist Alley. So I'm not going to be able to super peruse the long boxes, but what I can do is kind of walk through and check walls real quick and look at walls. So instead of actually targeting some books that you might be able to find in the boxes, I'm going to be looking at walls. So here's the part where I need your help. And of course, in the chat, this is where I need your help. I'm looking to upgrade books I already own. So instead of targeting new books to flip or spec or any of that stuff, this is actually just personal collection as well as Fantastic Four Annual Six. So here I pulled five books from my personal collection that I want to upgrade and I want to hear from you guys which books, because I'm going to do two. I'm going to pick two. Which two books, and you don't have to pick two. You could only put, you could, you could put one down. Uh, would you like to see me upgrade and I'll make a video on it. Oops. I'll make a video on it. And you know, I'll talk about this live show and how you guys helped me. So I have a notepad here. Actually, it's just an envelope, but you know, I'm going to write down what you guys pick, which two books. So here we go. Here's the first book I'm looking to upgrade. And unfortunately this, even though this book is in the lowest grade of the batch, it might be the most expensive to upgrade. So the first one is Batman. 171. This is the first Riddler. My personal copy is a 2.5. Hold on. Somebody said move the camera. Uh, yeah, the camera did move a little. I accidentally kicked it. 
Uh, so I'm looking to upgrade this, maybe even just a 3.0. You hear me, you hear me say this all the time. You like you, you want to get a book, you can get an entry level grade, sell it, and then slowly move up. That's what I'm looking to do. So we've got the Riddler, first appearance, first silver age appearance of Riddler in a 2.5. I'm looking at just a 3.0, not looking for a huge upgrade unless I get a really good opportunity. So we have the first Riddler. That's on the list. Okay. First Riddler, we're looking to upgrade. We're going to upgrade two of these at the show. Next up is the first Talia Al Ghul. This is Detective Comics 411. Mine is a 5.5. So my goal is to have all the Bronze Age Batman keys in a minimum of a 7.5. And I want the Silver Age at a minimum of 5.0. Now, some of them I'm not going to be able to get in a 5.0. Like uh, first back girl, not Barbara Gordon or Batwoman, first Batwoman. I think I have a two, five, three, five, something like that. Um, but this, I can pull this off in a 7.5. So my first is the first Riddler Silver Age. And this is the first Talia looking to get somewhere close to a 7.5, but it's okay just to go from a five, five to a six. It's fine. Small increments is j just as good. So here we go. First Silver Age Riddler. Did I say something silly? I say sliver. <laughs> uh, so we've got Talia. We've got the Riddler. Another one I'm looking to upgrade. Batman 155, first Penguin. First, first Silver Age appearance of Penguin. I'm in a 3.5. I'm looking for a 4.0 or better. Small increments. All right. These are all my, this is all my personal collection. My goal is to, to top off around a 5.0 with these Silver Age books. Now this one... <laughs> I'd love to upgrade this just one grade. This is Batman 181. This is the first Poison Ivy. I'd love to go from a 4.5 to a 5.0 on this one. So there's that. We've got three Silver Age and two Bronze Age. Here's the last one. Now, I was going to put on League of Assassins. Not a very expensive book. First League. I have it in the 7.5. My first Ra's al Ghul is an 8.0. Would I love to be linear? I would, but I'm going to leave it at a 7.5. Instead, I went with this book. This is Detective Comics 400. In a 5.5, I'd love to get it up to a 6 at least, right? I'm shooting for a 7.5 in these Bronze Age books. So uh, is this a bronze? 7? Eh, borderline. I'm not positive. But anyway, first man bat. So Let's do this together. Again, we've got the first man bat. Please pick two. Which two would you like me to upgrade? We've got the man bat. We've got the poison ivy. We've got the penguin. We're looking to upgrade. We've got the Talia. This would be the cheapest upgrade, in my opinion. So I don't want to push anyone in any direction, but hey. Uh, and then we've got the Riddler, which would be the most expensive upgrade. So I need two, guys. I, I need two. And here we go. Um, let me see. Let me see. You hear me say this all the time. Get in the entry level and just, just little upgrades over time, over time, over time. Uh, all right. Let's see. I'm seeing Riddler and Man Bat. I see Riddler and Ivy. Ivy and Penguin. Poison Ivy and Riddler. Riddler and Man Bat. Riddler and Poison Ivy. Po oh, man. One Talia. That's it. Thanks, guys. Oh, there's a second one. <laughs> Riddler and Penguin, Man Bat third. Riddler and Penguin. Ivy, Ivy and Penguin. Hmm. I think it's literally all of them except the Talia. The Talia's got the least amount of votes, but I... You know what I'm going to do? I don't know how I thought I would keep track of this. But maybe I'll just bring all five of these to the show. Make them possibly available to purchase as long as I can find myself an upgrade. I have a couple vendors I do love dealing with that maybe I'll talk to. What if you see the book you don't bring? Uncanny swag. Great question. Maybe I'll bring all of them. The two girls, Joe is saying Ivy and Talia, Man Bat and Talia. So I think Man Bat and Talia will be the cheapest. I will say that. Maybe I'll just bring them all. I'd love to get that Poison Ivy to a 5 0. 
I'm going to bring them all. See, you've all convinced me. So all five of these are coming. Terrific Con is in Connecticut, Mohegan Sun. So one more time. We got, we're looking for a 3-0 for the Riddler. Talia, I would like to get to 7-5, but we'll see the pricing. We've got the Penguin in a 3-5, maybe try to get to a 4-0. I don't know. The Poison Ivy looking to get to a 5 and stay there. And last but not least, that Man Bat's in a 5-5. Wouldn't mind upgrading that a few notches. So, all right, you guys convinced me. I'm bringing all of them. I'm bringing all of them, and we're just see if I can upgrade. I'll keep them aside. If I can upgrade, then uh, I will. Done. That's it. That's all I've got for tonight, guys. Hopefully, who's got, before I get out of here, who's going to Terrificon? Can I get like a hands up emoji or a me in the chat? Because I'd love to, I want to see a bunch of you guys, want to meet up, say hello. I don't know if I'm selling, I don't know if I'm selling the Batman 171. It depends if I can find an upgrade. I'm going to have to price them while I'm there. Who is actually going to Terrificon? Mike Stooks is going. Rich is going. Lawrence is in Colorado. MK Geiger. Oh, there are a bunch of people. I love it. George Deep's at booth B1. So that's cool. I'll be at Chinmo is going to be there. I know Street Side Anthony is going to be there. There's a lot of people. Guys, this is the biggest show in the Northeast since New York Comic Con from 2019. Great guest list. Great vendors. Awesome location. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Paul PC's going Nelson Santiago. I can't wait to see this dude. I think the last time I saw you, bro, was like, I don't know if I saw you at New York, if you went, but I know I saw you at East coast comic con. Is the buffet, if the buffet is open, the buffet, I have no idea if the buffet is open. They do have a banging buffet out. The, it is, it is good. Breakfast and dinner, lunch and dinner. Uh, that Galactus slab is probably, I think it's over a grand, man. It's expensive. Um, all right. That's it for me tonight, guys. Hopefully this is probably the last you're going to see me until after Terrificon. Uh, no auction this month. Obviously we're going to be doing an auction in August. I don't think there's going to be one in September, but we'll come back late October and then we'll do one probably right before right before Thanksgiving at some time, maybe the Friday before Thanksgiving. And then we're trying, me, Matt, and uh, Jay are trying to possibly do first a first ever live claim sale on the channel. We're looking at after, right after Thanksgiving, early December. I don't want to get too far ahead because there's plenty of conventions before that to focus on. But again, no auction this month. We're coming back August for a convention. Look out for fri next Friday's video. Next Friday's video is going to be awesome. It's going to be the Terrificon setup. Hopefully, I don't know if next Monday's is going to follow Terrificon because that's a quick turnaround for me to record a video and edit it after the show. I'm going to be shot. Um, thank you, Jose. I appreciate that, my man. Um, thanks, Joffrey. Uh, but probably the following Friday after Terrificon will be like, Hey, did I upgrade? You know, was I able to upgrade any of these? And how was the show? Did I pick up an FF annual six? I mean, I think people are a little bit onto that. And if one of the, if the vendors know me and they see me come in, they'll probably like jack their prices up or something. I don't know. So, uh, that's it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see you guys at the show. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, look at this guy. Ready-made breakup. If you're coming to the show, bring that book. Oh, cool. All right. We'll chat. Um, hopefully guys, if you're at the show, even if you're not looking to buy something, come say hello, say hi, let me know who you are and then go enjoy the rest of the convention. It is a great show with a fantastic guest list. Awesome artist. Ryan is going to be there. Ryan Brown will be there. Make sure you go see him. He'll be an artist alley. Get if you end up with if you're lucky enough to get one of my mystery boxes and you get these prints, go get them signed. Go get a commission. Go get some of his prints. He's going to be there. Uh, he'll actually have he will actually have some of his variants there too. He's got a Master of the Universe variant. He has all those Murder Hobo books. I think he has some Last Ronin slabbed and raw. He's going to have some Usagi's. 
Like he's going to have some of his stuff. If you're lucky enough to get the turtle print, uh, turtle book out of my mystery box, you can get a dual signed. Chris Companion is going to be there and Ryan Brown. So that'd be a lot of fun. I got to go. I'm really excited for next week. I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing a bunch of you. Uh, everybody have an absolutely fantastic night. Hopefully this work week goes by super quick and we can get to Terrificon. Again, have a wonderful night. I will see you guys at the show.